Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome to a Thursday edition of Five Minutes with Phil. Thank you for joining me. How's your week going? I hope it's going well. Uh, did you know, by the way, that we have this incredible YouTube page that not only has Five Minutes with Phil, but it also has all of our live streams. It has all of our services. It has different clips from our messages, uh, has different songs that, that our worship team sings. It's got all kinds of stuff on it. And uh, you can like and subscribe and you can even get notifications when something new gets put on the page. And uh, you can certainly share this page with your friends. And we encourage you to do that if we could somehow bless you or someone that you love and care about that is an enormous win for us and so i hope you'll let us do that okay hey why don't we take a look in the book of philippians today philippians chapter 4 i want to take a look at a passage of scripture that i um <laughs> i've noticed that some people tend to if we're not careful we kind of take it out of context and um i i, I want to make sure that we look at this verse in its correct frame um, Paul is talking about uh, how to be content, how to be happy, regardless of the circumstances around him. And why don't we read this verse, Philippians chapter 4, starting in verse 12 and going to verse 13. It says, I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. I have learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it's with a full stomach or empty, with plenty or little. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Now it's that last sentence that I just read, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Uh, so sometimes we read that verse and we we apply it to uh, maybe athletic prowess. You know, I can do all things, though, so I'm going to bench press 300 pounds. Or I can do all things, so I'm going to slam dunk a basketball. Well, I can tell you right now that uh, the way that this guy is built, uh, I'm probably not going to do either. And I know God can give me strength, but let's be real here. I don't think that's what that verse is saying. What is that verse saying? I do all things. Well, let me show you. Paul here is talking about living in a situation where he has been very content with everything that he's had. He's had a full stomach. He's had all kinds of possessions. But he's writing this thing from prison. Okay? Prison. Not the Hilton. Prison. And he says, so I also know what it's like to be starving, and I know what it's like to have very little. And in both circumstances, on the full stomach and the empty stomach, on having everything I need and not having anything, I've learned to be content. Paul, how are you able to do that? That's where Philippians 4.13 comes in. I do all things through Christ, who gives me the strength. In other words, you are able, regardless of your circumstances, you are still able to be content today. How? Because God will give you the strength to do it. Your contentment, you ready for this? Your contentment is not based on what you have. You being content does not depend on what you have. You being content depends on who has you. And if Christ has you, you can be content. So I want you today to trust in the Lord for all that you have. I want you to trust in the Lord for your circumstances. And I want you to trust the Lord no matter how you're feeling to be content because he gives you the strength to be able to do that. Okay? All right, my time's up. Thanks for joining me. We love you. 
And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good day. Bye-bye.